Hey, Razorback fans, in case you missed this week's episode of The Razor Wire. You know, the things that, that are, are going to be pressing about Jefferson is when people actually get film on this guy. Um, what is he going to be able to do when they start trying to t- take his tendencies away? Uh, some of the things in the schedule I'm not crazy about are we go to Alabama, and, or to LSU, and then to Alabama, and then we get Missouri the day after Thanksgiving. So you only got six days after that one after getting – you know, you're playing two of the tradition-rich, tough interior top teams, teams that other than maybe Georgia, no one really has that, that O-line and D-line depth that those teams have. Texas has been down. That's why they made the change in coach, as they did to, to Sarkeesian. Um, so you, you think you've got a chance to win that game at home. You know, you've got 20 starters coming back. I mean, you've got all kinds of good things going for you there. I, I think you nailed it right there. But you've got to take care of your non-conference schedule. And I think non-conference-wise, uh, there's three out of four that I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with. Uh, I don't, don't want to see a, a, you know, knock on wood, I don't want to see a North Texas come through. But I, I do think that Texas, new system going on down there, I think Texas is a winnable game. I'm not a big fan of, of the whole transfer thing, but it is what it is in the world we live in. But, you know, you're, I'm done with you, basically, if you're going to play against my Hawks the next season, and you know it going into where you sign up. Yeah, I'm kind of with you on that, Duran, because, you know, the way I see it, it's it's kind of like it's kind of like candied apples, all right? You know, a guy wants to transfer, and it's like, you know, hey, I appreciate your time here. I appreciate what you've done for the program. I wish you the best. Once a hog, always a hog. We're big suey, you know? And it's like you wish those guys the best genuinely. At least I do. And then they go and they go to somewhere like Auburn and it's like, okay, not only are you going to go to another SEC school, but you're going to join somebody in the SEC West. And then it takes that candied apple and it's almost like they they covered an onion in caramel. And it's like, okay, well, now this leaves a bad taste in my mouth. You know, Desi Sills had every opportunity. And and don't get me wrong, I I think Desi Sills did it. A great job, was a great Razorback, went through a lot here. He had some moments here, no doubt right. about that. He had some fantastic moments at Arkansas. But overall, the only person that held Desi Seals back was Desi Seals. And it's fun on the baseball field. I mean, you're 30 and 6, folks. 30 and okay. 6 in baseball. It's a fantastic record. You know, you're on pace to win more games than you've ever won in, in regular season play. 30 and 6 is the best start in 36 games in, in Razorback history. Um, you don't have that just, you know, you're going to get this win tonight, you know, for the most part. You don't have that guy. So our bullpen's great. You know, you got Cops, you got Wiggins, and all these other guys coming off. You got Connor Nolan and uh, Wicklander. He's starting to get a few starts here and there. He's earned that. And the bullpen's great, but having uh, just a shutdown ace, that's my biggest concern going in. So I'm interested to see what happens when Connor Nolan gets healthy. Um, is he going to provide the depth? that may help you know could you bring cops out of the bullpen and and have him in the starting role with with a healthy connor nolan those are the things that you know like you're alluding to how's the pitching going to do down the stretch it's all about depth and we need to get connor nolan and everybody on the same page when i grew up i remember the quinn groby days where the the swc champions in um, 88 and 89 then you follow that up with seven straight basketball conference championship three final fours and a lead eight and a national championship game and a national championship um, all in that seven year span there i mean that was the time that i grew up that's the time that i got hooked on razorback sports yeah hey, i think a lot of these young kids are just like that michigan guy because they've never been exposed to a razorback culture of winning you know the last time the razorbacks made it that far in the ncaa tournament was what 95 96? I mean, it's been a while. So a lot of these kids weren't even born then. And this can do nothing when you look at the Razorback Athletic Program across the board. Hunter Juracek's got this thing moving in the right direction uh, because these kids are looking at Arkansas Athletics going, hey, Arkansas is the place to be, and we haven't had that. It's the official podcast of the Razorback Nation. Check out the Razor Wire from the Arkansas Sports Network Wednesdays at 7. Check us out on Facebook, YouTube, or online at ArkansasSportsNetwork.com.